The Spartana Wiper Deco is a wiper class weapon in Splatoon 3 that centers around mid range poking and gaining its special at a decently fast rate. When pressing the trigger, it will follow out a horizontal slash that will do 30 damage, perfect for mid range poking at opponents and keeping your distance. The damage may seem low, but if you keep poking and tapping the opponent, it will eventually get splattered or they will have to flee because there will be little to nothing that they can do if you are fighting at the weapon's optimal range. If you get close up and hit them with the wiper, it will add 15 damage. As fun as it seems to kill someone like this, it's not effective because you'll be at disadvantage in close range and there's a more effective way to get an instant splat up close. The wiper also has the vertical swipe that are charged by holding down the trigger and these can use the poke from slightly further away and do 60 damage and they can be combined with vertical and horizontal swings so you can get a, get a far away splat more efficiently. Be aware, if you're walking dead forwards when you unleash a vertical swing, your character will be propelled forward and this will give you a bit more range but your movement will be locked and it will be very predictable and if you miss, miss by accident, you may end up somewhere you don't want to be so be careful, stick to sidestepping when using it to be safe. If you hit someone, someone with a charge and the blade hits them, it will instantly splat them doing 120 damage. This can only be useful as a last ditch effort to fight a flanker up close because the hitbox can be hard to get right and it's not effective otherwise. And be careful with being propelled forward, you may miss the target and end up somewhere you don't want to be with your opponent behind you. The strategy in matches is to sidestep in the early part of the game, firing to build up special points to use your special to help you fight and putting down beacons and poking at mid range to support the team. And be aware of the ink tank while turfing, it may go down quicker than you think. The sub is a squid beacon and it, this allows you to create a beacon that your teammates can jump to for quick movement and flanking. However, this sub weapon to be used effectively you need to strategize and place the beacon in the right location. Here are some tips. Strategically place the squid beacon where your team needs to be and where the enemy is likely to not to be but not be too close to. Make sure it's hidden and not in a dangerous spot. Analyze the situation before jumping to a squid beacon to know if it's safe or not. Consider the opponent's location, where the enemy's ink is on the map and where the, and where the ink is appearing to ensure that the beacon is safe to jump to. Communicate with your team about the squid beacon. Let them know where you've placed it and its purpose so that you can use it to your advantage. And finally, don't forget about the squid beacon. During the heat of the battle, use it regularly and keep your team moving in the fight. It's so easy to forget that you have the sub and not place it down. The special is the tenter missiles. When you use the tenter missiles, it will show up where the opponents are and if they are in the center of the circle in the screen, they will be locked onto and they will have missiles rain down on them. The missiles can be used at any time to support your team from the back or help engage in a fight. Don't use them when you're in combat because you'll be very vulnerable and while using them, uh, use them while there is no one near you. Check before you use them. Even though they are very fresh and powerful right now, they can't just be used and expect to get kills. The fact is, you can see opponent's location and engage them or tell your team to engage them while the missiles are, are locked on and raining down on them. And the fact that you'll be able to see their location and the fact that they will be being attacked by the missiles, it will make it a lot easier to engage with them, so use this opportunity to do so. And this strategy of engaging while the missiles are raining down on them will probably stay even if the tenter missiles get nerfed. When using a special, it isn't instantly able to recharge the special gauge as soon as you hit the fire button. It has to, the special gauge has to go to the bottom before you can start charging it again. So you can wait until the opponents are in prime position before you fire out the missiles because you won't be wasting any time not building up another special. The gear that I would recommend for this weapon is Ink Recovery Up, Ink Saver Main and Ink Saver Sub to be more ink efficient. Run speed and swim speed up to get into battle and get at the correct range quicker. And a special charge up because of how powerful that special is. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing and comment if there's any weapon you would like me to cover. Until next time, see ya.